Hi everyone, it's Tammy and welcome back to the 52 cards of Christmas. Today is going to be very similar to how I've done them in the past with my watercolor markers. But today I'm going to try to do a fun pink Christmas tree. So I don't know, I think it'll be kind of cute, I'm hoping. I want it to be... Um, uh, I don't know the word, like I don't want it to be real solid, like this is a tree. I want it to be kind of whimsical. So I'm going to take my pink marker or watercolor marker, and I'm just going to make a little tree like this. And then I'm going to kind of brush in a little bit because I want to color this in using just plain water. So I have watercolor paper here that I purchased at, I think, Michael's. It was one of the value packs. I know that it was a value pack wherever I purchased it. So it's not the best. And sometimes it, when you color with it, it gives the little balls of fiber, the fiber balls. So it'll probably do that. So I'm just kind of giving my tree just a little bit of structure. I think it's called pilling actually, now that I say it, like a sweater pilling. And I am just trying to get rid of the harsh border. I don't want there to be a harsh border on my tree. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and I hope that you're enjoying the novice water colorings that I've been doing because it's been fun for me and I actually like them. I'm hoping that the other people will like them too because I think it'll be cute to give these and get these at Christmas time. I would enjoy it so I'm thinking that others may as well. So hopefully you guys can see the, the little fiber balls that I'm talking about, the pilling on the card because it's kind of I don't know, it's a little bit annoying, but if I used higher quality paper, I'm sure, and I had better skill, I'm sure it would reduce it, but I am not worried about it, really. I'll just let this dry a little minute, and I will go in with another piece of uh, paper towel and just kind of pull off the pilling. It's not a huge big deal. I have a trash can back here and I'm just kind of trying to get those into that trash can. I think it's pretty cute. And then I want to use a black marker and I want it to be really thin and I don't think this one is as thin as I want it to be. Um, maybe I will use my Sharpie. And this is just one of those little mini Sharpies. And I'm just going to, do you remember when you may have made trees like in elementary school and you put lights on them and you just kind of did this. That's kind of the look I'm going for for this. There, and I think that that did it nicely. And then I don't know if I want to use watercolors to put the lights or if I want to use my click art things to put lights. Or maybe I want to use Sharpies. I can see how that's working. Hmm. Well, these seem to be doing okay. I need to watch it to see how much it spreads. Oh, you know what would have been really cute is if I had made the whole tree glittery. Is it too late for that? It's 
never too late for glitter. What am I talking about? I like how the Sharpie doesn't budge. That's pretty cool. I'll see what other colors of Sharpie I have over here. Maybe I'll use some of that. Here's a pretty green color Sharpie. And I'm just trying to draw little lights. I have more of these than I thought I did because I like to use them on my vinyl stickers and so I bought a little kit and I had them sitting over here and I kind of forgotten about them. I don't use them a ton. Let's see if I have yellow. I do have yellow. Let's see if yellow will work on here. Uh, not exactly, so maybe I should use yellow. I wonder if I used yellow this. Still not the best. So I wonder if I used yellow this. I think you can kind of see them. I'll just call that good. And then I think I need some lighter colors. And I have a light green here. I don't think I need a ton more of anything, but I don't even know if you could tell what color these are now with the pink. And that's okay. There, I think that's cute. And then I think what I'll do is do a gold star on top. And maybe I'll even put a little bit of gold by these bulbs. Like the end of the bulb. And I will put, I think I'll write Happy Christmas on this one. Oh, I think it's cute. I think I like it. And then I have some pink foiled paper that I'm going to cut down. I'll cut it at an A2 size, which makes it five and a half by four and a quarter, but I'm not sure if I'll use the whole sheet. I might even trim that down. And then I also have a five and a half by four and a quarter a two sized card here that I need to. Okay, I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. It's eight and a half by five and a half right now, but I'm scoring it at four and a quarter so that it'll make an a two sized card. 
I'm not going to put this away because I might still use it if I don't want this to be this big. I might trim this down a little bit. So let me put my markers away. Put my markers away. And then this will fit over this whole sheet like that. And then I could put this down right like this, which is pretty cute, I suppose. Um, I also have some pink ribbon, but I don't even know if I need that with the pink foil. I don't think I do. I wonder if I should put a layer of gold foil around the tree. And then put it on the pink. Let me look at that for a second. Actually, no, I don't think I should. I think I should just put it straight down on this pink. And I think, wow, I didn't know I'd think that, but I think it's perfect. Just, I'm really liking the simple cards. I have been doing them simply since the jump on these Christmas cards. And I don't know, it is working for me. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. I kind of feel like it's so simple and I mean, I'm using card bases. I'm not really working too hard at coming up with fabulous ideas. Not that I, most of my ideas are fabulous or anything, but you know what I mean. I mean, like it's not a fun fold card or anything that you have to measure or think about. It's just me drawing some hieroglyphics almost on a piece of paper, but I'm having fun doing it. And I think they're turning out really cute. And there we go. That's the card for this week. I really like it. I hope that you guys do too. I hope I didn't make that too crooked. No, I think it's all right. All right. Well, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.